Legends Limited Super Baby 2 is here, which means we're summoning for him. But also, if we can pull him, we're going to use him at the end in actual gameplay. So you're getting summons, you're getting gameplay right in this video. We are summoning. This banner actually is not half bad. Also, Corrupted Zamasu is on here. So definitely hoping that he gets his Zenkai. Also hoping... Listen, somehow you guys are still commenting like Nana luck this, Nana luck that. And maybe you're watching some of the shorts from last year because we did have some pretty good like luck here and there. But um, Nana luck has not been real for the majority of 2023, 2023, 2024. Like it just straight up hasn't. Not on Legends, not on Dokkan. So like I need, let me just, let me just be 100% honest with you guys. I need this to not be too terribly bad. I really do. Because like... <laughs> wait ninth anniversary wasn't very nice to me like legends fest i think we had some pretty like solid summons here and there but for the most part I, you know legends fest wasn't crazy by any means i think we just made a ton a ton of like summoning videos wait go away how did i do that now it's just like stuck there i don't i don't want this done bro bro let's just think i'm gonna take notes i'm <laughs> As if I'm even reading kids. No. <laughs> anyway, and then now, now here we are, bro. It's a never ending cycle because now here we are just like moments before the sixth anniversary, which all the CC is going to be pretty tough on my credit card. But fortunately, I've got it in a Ridge wallet. And this one right here is one that my wife bought me over a year ago now, which is why I think it's very cool to be able to say today's video is sponsored by Ridge. So like I said, my wife got me this orange one. Ridge sent me this wood grain one. And of course, if neither of these colors are your thing, they've got 30 plus colors and styles, including ceramic powder and leather over at Ridge. They've also got this optional air tag attachment that i put on mine so i never lose my wallet well i do lose it but then i can easily find it because of the air tag and these wallets are designed with rfid blocking materials that protects you from digital pickpocketers plus the thing holds up to 12 cards and cash or if you're like me receipts while still staying like crazy slim they've also got key cases that keep your keys secure and safe and look really cool like this forged aurora which by the way they also have this design in wallets and the cool thing about ridge is that their wallets have a lifetime warranty because they're just that durable and that just goes to show how much they believe in the wallets and also how much I believe in them too, which is why you should head over to ridge.com slash nano or click the link down below in the description to pick something up and you'll get up to 30% off from now until April 1st because Ridge is celebrating 11 years. And here's the thing. If you're not in the market for one of these right now, these are great as gifts because again, this one right here was a gift to me. So a gift for your dad, your brother, your mom, because they've been adding all kinds of different styles over there. So once again, thank you, Ridge, for sponsoring this video. Shout out to sponsors. You know what? <laughs> Shout out the sponsors helping at least like make the the blow of the gotcha game be just a, you know a little just a little bit less and shout out the ridge for just being straight up awesome <laughs> uh genuinely genuinely awesome I, dude i love i love this thing so thank you again ridge and, and thank you guys for checking it out if you've never checked out a ridge go check it out they're really cool so thank you once again ridge for the sponsor today now we are in the middle of actually a pretty freaking cool campaign let's just be real but i did not think g i did not hedge my bets on gt being here we've talked about this so much because you know we just did the i just did the video a few days ago where we talked about all the stuff i thought we could see this year and yes i recalled gt because i think you know in a very realistic standpoint there are only roughly now that baby's here there there really is only about four more characters left from gt period ssa for goku you can do him full power or just make him like alter SSA4, please. Or wouldn't it be cool if we got the infamous father? Yeah. Or let me lose. Let me lose. Man. SSA4 Gogeta or SSA4 Vegeta or Omega. That's pretty much it. They've now done Super 17 and Baby. These are these are two of the three main villains from GT. And if you're like Banano, there's real dough or other random characters uh, like of what I feel like is Legends Limited or ultra worthy. It's the three main arcs of that show, which are Baby, Omega and Super 17. And we have two out of the three of those. Now, I definitely do think Omega is on the on the board somewhere, right? Like, I think if you're doing GT, you can't do GT without him. What's up, Jiren? I kind of want a new Jiren too, a little bit. 
I actually like Jiren, you know? I feel like the vast majority of people don't like, like, let me know. Let me know. Do you like Jiren? I feel like you guys gotta like Jiren. By the way, also let me know by hitting that like button. I saw the animation that apparently, uh, guys, can you please like the video? Then see if it did it. See if it did the thing. I just recently saw it. It, it like highlighted the like button. It was really cool. Anyways, um, thank you guys for hitting that like button. Thank you guys for subscribing. We did break a million. The million special is on the way. That's all, that's all I'm gonna say. You know what? That's all, that's all I'm gonna say. You've been someone that's been just like waiting around. You're like, man, I don't know. I don't know. It's on the way. <laughs> I don't give away too many hits, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, well, we did hit a million recently. So, yet again, thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but I do think there is going to be another character here. I think it's pretty inevitable. I do wonder if it's an ultra or just another LF. Uh, I think there are other tags that need it. The reason why I was so stuck on it being lineage of evils, A, it just made sense. And B, I just feel like LOE could use the help. But also, now I saw Gresh talk about this a lot too. You know, if it's just going to be one random LF, that doesn't really help LOE. And, you know, like we needed, we really needed the LF and an alter or two LFs um, from this particular campaign to be both LOE to truly help LOE. Like, LOE probably needed two two characters that really came in and were at least, like, meta-level characters. Now, from what I can tell from this baby, and I know he is yellow, so he is, like, Super 17 food. It's funny that people say Super 17 and no one even, like, says Super Vegeta. Oh, dude. It's just... Here's the thing. I, I do believe, here, I really do believe this, that by the time 2024 is over, Vegeta's stocks will have, have risen. I do believe that. I think that there will be more value to Super Vegeta as the year goes on between the fact that there's probably more yellow characters and between the fact that Vegeta clan will be built out and much better and that Super Vegeta will find a nice comfy spot on a Vegeta clan team. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Is it full <laughs> copium? Probably. But <laughs> on the off chance that it isn't, that would be just a sick that's all that's all I'm saying. I would love, love, love to be in a world. Yeah, yeah, what's up? Half corrupted fusion Zamasu. That's gonna hopefully get a Zenkai here. Although if he gets a Zenkai here, then that does kind of kill my hope and hype of a potential future saga celebration sometime this year that gives us a tag Rose and Zamasu. Although there are other characters they could do. But I feel like he would be the most deserving to be in you know be tied with a f i mean him being on the banner is not as 100 percent guarantee this is zinkai likely he's going to be a zinkai and he definitely is like the definition of of looming nemesis you know so like pr he's pro he probably is going to get one here but if he doesn't then that's really really high stocks going up for the whole tag roseanne zamasu thing that could you know could be a, a very real possibility now, coming back to the baby discussion, though, and, you know, really, we just have one more villain to, to basically buff GT. Blue Skies with Jocko. Come on, man. Imagine a nice little Super Saiyan Goku with Super Saiyan Bardo. We did it! Wait, no, we didn't, because it's not Super Saiyan. This could just be... This could be for Trunks. Oh, this could be for Trunks. My father did show up, dude. My father came home today. Oh my gosh, no though, this could be for Trunks. Why? The Trunks looks really good though. That's a huge pickup. Mine is not red seven. Let's go. Let's go, Cell. Also, Android main, what's up? I mean, this is a good pickup though, 100%. This Trunks looks sick, by the way. Animations, all of it. Yo, what's up, Trunks with my assist? He's uh he's really cool. They've been like putting in work on these side banner SPs. It's kind of crazy. Like right now, definitely cannot deny the fact that Oh, and they're super 17. Cannot defy deny the fact that yo, what's up, Jiren? The side banner 16 is better you is more useful at this time than the uh the super Vegeta. Does he do anything? Probably not. They they don't really do a whole lot with these. The art is still good though. Him and Baby's art are, are actually really, really, really good. Anyway, that's that's nice little that's a nice little pickup. No complaints for me, man. Not, 
That's a, that's a Ford F-150 pickup right there, man. You gotta love that. All right. Anyways, now, if they do just go the double LF route, this is the theory I'm really trying to push hard, then I, I just, I just have this. Okay. Thought maybe we might lose. I just have this weird inkling feeling that we really are going to start the anniversary with an Ultraman. I don't know. I, I'm just like so convinced. I was not even paying attention because it wasn't an animation that felt like it should be for Super Baby 2. Dude, let's go. Look at that art, man. Why have you not liked it, dude? I know it did the thing again. If you're fully updated and all that, I know that it like highlighted it. And it was like, ooh, you should hit this. Let's go. Oh my gosh, dude. All right. Thank you, Legends, for not being crazy. Okay, well now 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 these summons get a little bit these summons are a little bit stupid. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You telling me you telling me two two trunks isn't a baby already? Yo, what's up? Android 16, I was just talking about you. I mean you're not the one I was talking about, but I was just talking about you. There's go dude, that art right there is pretty sick. I think it's like the the sort of like fire around him that like really sets the tone for that one. Oh, and Android 17, man. GT, GT, GT. That is a six star. Oh, dude. I mean, you guys know. I actually woke up early to do this. I haven't, I wasn't around for like the, the download or any of that. So I haven't looked at any of this yet. Oh, that's sick. All right. Also, of all the things we got to talk about, we got to talk about the slander on the, on the LF. I saw people that are like, but it should have been his revenge death ball. And I'm like, no. Because then all of you guys would have been like, oh, they, they reused or like, why didn't they do Golden Azaru? Like I and the whole time we theoried this, which, by the way, we just talked about this. I think in the Ultra Gohan dual summons with Diddy and probably in my solo, too. But I literally said if they do a baby, which they probably will, his LF needs to be him going into Great Ape and then doing based on what they did for Vegeta, for Saiyan Saga Vegeta. I cannot believe like I get it. Maybe the color of the blast and stuff. Broly, but I just I feel like if they would have done his revenge death ball or pretty much anything that wasn't him going into his you know golden grade eight, it people would have just complained because it was too much of the same, and they would have been like, well, why didn't you do this? I and mean, they created a whole new model and made an LF out of it. I thought it I thought it went crazy. I could not believe that the reception wasn't like, oh, this is sick. I saw so many people complaining about this LF and I'm like well, how have we gotten this like this far astray from the path that we are complaining about this LF I just watched which by the way in previews or it, for whatever reason in those trailers which is why I, I really do hate when we don't get the reveals and stuff and we get to see all the gameplay fully broke down it never does all the animations justice ever ever it just doesn't because then when you actually see it in its full glory you see everything that the unit can do it's even better it always is never fails so like i just really was blown away by the fact that i saw that many people actually complaining about his lf because i i thought it was really good and again the other thing too that's cool about you know doing these reactions to the lfs and, and all of that is that i'm in like a i'm in my own little like pod over here and i have no outside influence especially if i'm not streaming them i have no outside influence there's no chat there's no nothing so you're getting like my raw this is what i think which is why when I'm not excited and like everyone else is excited about something like like Bardock and Goku where people were so mad at me for like not being excited about that one. And it was just like, I mean, can you guys not make up your mind? Like you want me to be excited, but then you don't want me to be excited. Like I'm just going to be who I am over here. And sometimes we're going to agree and sometimes we're not. And in this case, I guess some of us don't agree because I think this baby looks sick. Uh, and also I really like baby. I think that's the thing with GT that while the writing can be weak here and there or maybe lots of places. Uh, you know, and the animation can sometimes be shoddy. I really did like the villains in that show. And I know there's a lot of people that didn't necessarily like Super 17. I actually really did like Super 17. <laughs> like, I, it's like, again, this is this is kid Tyler because I haven't watched it since I've been an adult. But, um, and then someone said that people are like, H how, what? How have you not done that? Dude, I don't know. I'll just be busy, man. I'm not like, I don't watch a ton of shows. I did recently catch up on My Hero though. <laughs> Uh, and I've been watching like other other anime and I put a bunch of uh, I asked you guys for some suggestions on vampire anime 
I actually had a couple of IRL friends also, I guess, watch that video and text me about it. Uh, so shout out to them. Shout out all you guys that gave me really good, awesome recommendations. I have those on my watch list, but I was super deep into my catching up on my hero that I didn't want to like diverge and split between this and this and this because I had like 60 episodes of my hero to get through. Um, and I'm finally fully through my hero, so I'm, I'm, I'm cut up. I'm ready to go for May with season seven. Uh, I really actually enjoyed it. I don't know if it's just because I took such a long break from my hero and then, you know, coming back and getting to sort of like but reconvene with these characters that I did like. That's the one thing that my hero has, even when it's in the weaker sort of areas, is that they built a really good roster of characters that I do like. Again, because it's so similar to X-Men, you have all these different characters, all these different powers and stuff. It's so interesting to me. Um, ooh, and just the, 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 the like dynamic that they've built up and stuff. Please let us get the screen crack. The chart, sorry, the shattered dimension. Anyway, they've just done like, a lot of cool things basically with the characters in that show and so it's all, it's all super interesting and then like in particular right now with the most recent arc that's about a year old you know you're learning like way more about one for all okay we, we, we didn't but it could still be him nope that's we're about the red seven this freaking cell if that isn't red seven right there um but i'm just not big on watching just tv in general so i definitely have not rewatched. You know, 300 episodes nearly of Z and like 60 something episodes of GT. I just haven't, I just haven't done that. I'm purposely made an, an entire podcast around basically doing just that with Dotto so that I could like have even more of a reason to want to go back and want to want to rewatch it. Uh, but yeah, I'm just not big on rewatching shows. Like I've wanted to rewatch Breaking Bad for years now, and uh, my wife has never actually seen Breaking Bad, and so like I have multiple reasons to want to do that. And I think we will eventually. And the thing I like about Breaking Bad is it's not a very long series. I'm just bringing it up because in terms of rewatches, that would be one I would want to rewatch. I always thought I'd want to rewatch Game of Thrones, but the last two seasons of that show kind of ruined any reason of me wanting to rewatch. I do kind of want to relive like season one and like some of the some of those seasons are are just so some of those early seasons are just so good, right? Like the conversations and stuff. They're just all they're all just so good, they're so so good. But uh. Anyways, like Breaking Bad, if I can't even find time to rewatch Breaking Bad, like, I mean, that's probably still like my favorite show, maybe, maybe. The only show I can think of recently that I really have rewatched is The Boys. And that was because me and, me and my wife w watched that. And I'd already seen all three seasons. And so her and I watched like seasons one through three. But that show is just so good. Um, but that's like a super rare example. I don't, I don't know. Other than rewatching How I Met Your Mother like a million times in college. And that was when I was in college and the different, different era, different time. You know what I mean? Uh, between, between classes, like having downtime and just being like, I need some comfort food because of all the uh, anxiety from working all these jobs and going to college and all these things. I need some comfort food. So my, uh, my comfort food was rewatching How I Met Your Mother for like, like 10 times in a row. But anyway. Uh, I just don't, I just don't be rewatching stuff like that. So that's why I've just never watched rewatch GT. I, I want to, but then also I'm doing this Z rewatch with Dotto. And so I'm not, I'm not trying to consume too much Dragon Ball outside of the rewatch, which is obviously like on purpose because we're doing this whole rewatch and I want as much of it to be as fresh, especially nothing in Z. I'm not rewatching like anything in Z because we're doing it as, as part of like a, a whole podcast thing. So anyways. So I just don't find myself, I'm like, I'm not, actually, I've been more motivated as of late to want to do, to want to rewatch certain things. And I'm like, I won't do it, especially if it's like close to where we're at. We're about to finish up the Saiyan Saga. So I don't want to watch anything in Saiyan Saga for sure. And I don't want to watch anything in Namek for sure. Cause like, that's all that stuff that we're about to be getting through. So I'm doing my best to not, not like rewatch those. They're like completely fresh for when we actually watch it for the podcast and talk about the podcast. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I do really want to, I, let me take a side note because some people might be like, but you said you watched GT recent ish. I did the, the first 10 episodes, which was really good for me because when I was growing up, I didn't remember much about those first 10 episodes. Probably a good reason why is because the most thing I, the only thing I really remembered was the, what the Para Para brothers, I guess that stuck with me, but there's not that in the very beginning where Goku and Uber fighting right before Goku turns into a kid again, like those are really the only moments I remember from that. And I still even then didn't remember like the dude that's like sacrificing people for his youth, I think is what it was. And it's even been like a year and a half now since I, I did that little, that little bit with my watching with my kiddo. So anyways, 
I uh, all that to say, even though I feel like I'm maybe question my validity of just saying there's only three characters really, there, there's still there's not, man. There's 60 episodes, there's three big baddies. They're very clearly saving LFs and ultras like for very, 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 very specific moments. And they're definitely not giving like Legic a like, you know, LF or ultra. That's just, that's just not, that's like not happening at all. <laughs> well, if that happened before we get like a new Beerus or like some more representation of Super Saiyan God, that would actually maybe make me a little mad. Or like if we got Legic before we got Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, who I hope does get an LF this year. Like I really, really hope he gets an LF. I don't know if I ever finished myself earlier, but the four characters think that are left are SSJ4 Goku, SSJ4 Vegeta, Omega, and SSJ4 Gogeta. Just to make sure that, I, in case I didn't finish that whole like thought earlier, those are the only characters I feel like are left from from GT, which is kind of like a weird feeling because then you got you've got TOP, which the TOP arc is actually shorter than GT, like in totality. I think TOP is what about 40 episodes or so, or maybe a little less than that, and you know GT is like 60. But there's so much more, more from T.O.P. that they could use and that they could do and like in in terms of characters and character moments and character transformations. I, I feel like there's like so much more like we could we could definitely do another year of T.O.P. and probably not have much like overlap of what we got last year, which is kind of crazy. By the way, if you notice this, that guy's not Zenkai, I've had such an insane last like week and a half, which will all be explained soon, hopefully um that i have not had a chance to like play hardly at all like hardly at all i haven't got to do it i've got a, i've got so much stuff to do on both of these games i have people like asking if you're a dogon head i have people like where's the frieza summons nano and it's like i get it because i don't i would never want you to to feel like there's like something that could possibly be more important than like making videos on this channel but it's, i i've never missed a dogon summoning for uh, main release since I started doing this. I've never missed like a reaction since I started doing those and like covering the characters through reactions and, and details and all of that. But like there's going to come a time where I'm going to miss a reaction. It just is like it's just that's just that's life. Um, and there's going to come a time where I just miss a summon because I wasn't able to to get to it in time. Um, and again, that's just life. <laughs> like, you, like Nano, where is this? Where is this, Nano? It's like, dude, let's let's calm down. It'll be okay. <laughs> I promise. It'll it'll be it'll be fine. It'll be okay. We'll be back. Plus, with with Dogon, bro, Dogon is pumping. I don't. I guess it always is like this, but it feels so so much more blazing flat, like fast this year. Kind of with Legends too, right? Because right now we're in March. Like, what are we like 10 weeks into this year give or take and we've had three lfs and an alt sorry because this is the fourth four lfs and an ultra that's nuts dude that's actually nuts i just what and then and then beyond that we've <laughs> on dokon we've had four lrs and a dokon fest <laughs> Two two Dokkan two Dokkan Fest LRs, two Carnival LRs, and then a standard Dokkan Fest, and then now we're like just five-ish days away from Saiyan Day. Like brawl. It's just like boom 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 boom. Where's the where is the the LF Buhan man? I really, really hope. Like really hope there's a Legends Limited Buhan in our future. Buhan is so freaking cool. I was, I was waiting on the Behold. Oh, oh, where's my Majin Vegeta, man? Imagine the altar. Imagine there is an altar for this and it's Majin Vegeta. Whew. I would, I would lose my mind. I could not even like if he, I say he, it's, it's definitely more than Toshi, but if Toshi gives us a Majin Vegeta, bro, straight up losing my mind. I can't fathom a more hype character for me right now. Like, actually. As long as they cook with him, his kit is good. His alter ink art is good. You know, his intro is really good. And his, he has some really sick animations. And he has, like, atomic flash and stuff. Wow. 
I haven't uh I haven't actually looked to see just how good that guy is, so I hope he's actually as good. I hope he's good. Because we've got a few of him now. So please, please let him be good. I really want one more. I want one more, maybe. That's what we're summoning for here. That is a seven star trunks. <laughs> That's it. Alright. Do I, I don't see, the thing is, I don't know if I'm going to duel on this guy. So I'm like, I really want to get the one more baby here. And, and now with you guys, do I use tickets? Maybe I'll use some tickets. Just like a, a batch of three. Oh man. Oh, I was really kind of hoping it was really, yeah. I was really kind of hoping that was going to be as a rainbow. The rainbow text is ever eluding these days, man. But there is there is two SPs in here. So one of those could be one of those could be one of those could be not that one of those could be Bro Bro that Dare I swear I don't ever think I'm not trying to humble myself merged. I'm, I'm not gonna hold you Zamasu. I you know what? This is quite a this is quite a bit of CC even with cells, so it's like I'm not I'm not trying to humble myself. I just want to I just want to pull the baby. You know why I'm here. Dare I skip? Dare I skip this? Let's see. If it's not Bardock, do I skip it? We just no. Nah, I won't skip it though because it, it, it gave me Dragon Balls. This is not this is not the time to do that. Okay, I will skip now though. Well, I I you know I was like let's tip let's tip fate. Let's see if I can skip. A baby summon. No shot is it. No shot is this baby. I saw it being an SP. Ah, saw it being an SP. Like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, let me take a step back though. If you're my hero fan, let me know. Let me know what you what you think about where we're at right now. Now I know the manga is out, so the manga is like way ahead of, of where we're at in the anime. But I've not read the manga. I'm just caught up on the anime. I actually really enjoyed season six. I do think the last half of season six, there was a little like there was some pacing issues compared to the first half of season six, for sure. But I think I think that's like my hero's biggest problem. And I don't know if it's that they're trying to hit a certain amount of episodes, so they feel the need to like drag things out. I don't know. But when my Huh? When my hero is hitting, bro, my hero is hitting, dude. It's so good. The thing I will say with uh, with six, I'll probably talk more about on the pods. So I don't go too deep here, but the thing about six is that the the first arc. Please, Jocko. Please, Jocko. Let my dad come through, bro. We're in space. Let's get revenge together, father. But you know, not now. Is that? The beginning of, of season six, I think, is please, please, bro. Let's get let's get this animation. Is that I think that that is what I've been wanting that show to do for like so many like arcs at that point. Like that is what I wanted. It can't help but get you know like in in its own way. It's so interesting, man. MHA is such an like, nope. MHA is such an interesting, interesting series. It really is. Good, good cast of characters, really cool concept. And then it's like, let's calm down now for a second. It's like, why are we calming down? We don't need the cool down. We need to just go, 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 go. Like we need an episode of cool down maybe. And then it's time to go, 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 go. And it just, it just can't help itself. Please. Please. <laughs> I actually wasn't sure if that was baby or not, but I did not recognize the line. And so I was like, it's gotta be him. Oh my gosh. Let's go, dude. We got him. All right. Where are we at on the, we're on the rotation. He is six. We can use him at a nice little smooth six star. See how he's looking. Okay. We got to finish the rotation out. Let's go, dude. We pulled how many of the trunks and two babies? in less than 20,000 CC. I'm gonna count that as an, an absolute 
massive win. Again, if you have not been keeping up, these are probably some of my best summons actually of recent time. Especially if you count up how many of these, how many of the trunks I pulled. Absolutely insane. All right, we are winning. So yeah, we're 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 gonna we're gonna pull we're gonna watch this one all the way through. See if there's you know a nice a nice little super baby two in here waiting for us. Um, but yeah, so obviously thoroughly enjoyed the season. But uh, the second half did I was like okay. They're setting up some really cool stuff, though, which I can appreciate. But I'm like, you know, you know, if you know, you know, but if you don't care about MHA, then I'll, you know, that's why I'm about to shut up about it. But it is what I just got through watching like 60 episodes in like a couple weeks. So, so, you know, it's like kind of a lot of what I've been spending my free time on. So just to be just to be fully caught up so I could have the discussions about it. And it is something that. Unironically, I guess I've made I guess I've made some form of my hero video probably at least about once a year at least on this channel at least once a year. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of an, like an interesting thing to think about, but I I actually have my hero has unironically been semi consistent on the channel. <laughs> okay, all these in no Legends Limited, bro. All these back to back SPs with no LLs. Come on. Do I do I do just a little bit of uh, a little bit of gamba and we see if the tickets are worth anything? Hang on, let's see how many how many of these do I got? Because if I'm close to ooh, I I could buy I'm like five away from get, essentially getting another. But then I could uh, I could you know what? Listen, I'm gonna need y'all to for sure like the video. I I, I was five away from just, uh, essentially a freebie copy, and instead I'm risking it all for for nothing what's up mecha frieza i actually would like a mecha frieza legends limited they're not gonna do that probably that would be cool oh gosh dude not this man why'd i do this I, oh gosh no i shouldn't have done the tickets bro i shouldn't have done the tickets. i should have just got the five more got the 600 threw it into the baby jocko come on please Oh. oh, brother. All right, let's use Super Baby 2. I'm actually incredibly excited to try this guy out. I do know. Nice. All right, we do want him to take damage. I don't know if I want him to take that much damage. Let's fill this up. It did. Cool. And we're gonna go right in now here's the thing he is dropping in a very red heavy meta and i and i do get people's concerns with that and it does suck that like on release he's kind of like in a weird space but the thing is it's not all right let's swap this guy out. let's try this guy what in the world what what <laughs> what what's his green Dude, he's awesome. What? <laughs> All right, wait. Ooh, okay, wait, wait. let's see if we can get this. See if we can get the. Oh, we can. Oh. All right, let's use this blue. Look, it's purple. I know people were very upset about that. Dude, I'm so close. Hmm? No, I was about to. Oh, there's his windscreen though. Okay. Basically, I get people upset about where the meta is at right now. But the thing is, the snapshot of the meta right now is obviously I could have caught you. I could have caught you again. Actually, on that one, I probably couldn't have. All right, let's do this. The snapshot of the meta right now is yes, very red heavy. Yes, yes, yes. But the thing is, the Legends team knows where the game is going and they can't just keep. I mean, I, I say this, maybe I'll be eating this later in the year. They can't just keep going and going and going back to red. They just can't. And so they have to know that we've got purples coming up. We've got other characters and other typings coming up. And this baby's value will hopefully and most likely, let's see what this looks like, not LF, will hopefully and most likely just go up, up, up. That's what I am personally hoping for and I hope continues to happen. Oh, he does do the death ball. As his non 
dude, this character is sick, man. Oh gosh, this character is sick. Oh wait, yeah, we caught him. <laughs> oh, this character's cool, dude. All right, I'm just gonna rush forward. I don't know why I mid-range strike. Actually, I do know why I mid-range strike. I kind of thought. Oh, okay. This is good though. We need to max this out. I mean, do right into one of these. Oh, we. I took too long. I was about to say that's not gonna, that's not gonna be cover change. All right, let's see what is uh what does his ultimate look like? Yeah, it's early. All right, give me a break. It's early. We caught we caught we we caught some earlier, you know. We caught some earlier. All right, I do. Does it drop down? It actually does. Oh, I thought he was pushing forward. <laughs> he can't lose this. I mean, I'm going to win this match. No way did he drop. Why would you drop is that UI Goku? That was very interesting. Thank you. Boop, boop, boop. We do have a green. I'll go blue. Of course I was about to get a blue. Are you freaking... Anywho, he can't die. I pro maybe I should have said. I don't really care about saving it. <laughs> I don't really care about saving that. All right, you have your ultimate. I'm full health. Love that. The farm there was was. What? Um. It's enough. All right. Watch my back, seventeen. Um. Okay, cool. I love this. Thank you. Sure. I'm gonna go blue because that's just what I went. He's gonna he's gonna be sitting on blue. He's gonna go. Yeah, he won't think it's a blue. It's a green. You know, it could have been strike. It could have. <laughs> Okay, all right. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You can't lose. You can't lose, but guess what? Anyway, GG. I mean, we, we knew we knew it was going to come down to a win. We knew it was going to be a win. Look at him. He looks great. All right, next match. We got us a, a UI here. Oh, he, yep. That's smart. It's very smart. Free damage for you. Oh, and it doesn't... Cool. You know what? That's actually not bad. All right, let's do this, dude. I'm, I'm. I mean, no, it's, it's just blast damage, but still, that guy's pretty crazy. All right. Uh, no, I'm not letting you do that to him. We'll let you. We'll let you go into uh this beefy, beefy boy. It's just too. It's just too free with that unit, bro. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Why did I bring into him? I don't know. Although this should, will this pop our unique gauge? Close. Actually, not close enough. No. No. All right, now, but now what are you doing? Yeah, you're going to bring him in. Okay. A... Oh, I don't have freaking gauge. Hang on. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, you're not gonna go right into him. All right, fine. All right, seventeen. Survive, brother. Seventeen. No. I did do. You know, a little, a little bit. 
That was actually kind of sick. Anyways, where's UI? Boop, 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 boop. Bye bye, UI. Oh, 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 oh. That was supposed to be. That's annoying. That was a. I swipe, bro. Alright. What? Why, why are you still doing that? What are you doing? Bye. You're as good as dead. Alright, all I gotta do is get you down here. Oh, you just... Okay. Oh, you're gonna proc my... Uh... Oh, wait, does this kill? This does not kill, right? Yes, it does. About to say he's do he doesn't have vanish right. <laughs> I just want to get the LF man. I'm just I'm trying to I'm trying to get the LF. Just be playing instead of worrying about getting the LF. But I, we're trying to get the LF, dude. We, we've got our red unit. All right, here we go. Took too long, nanogenics. Ooh. We're gonna let 17 take this and bop. All right, we're gonna see Goku Bardock. Oh, we're not. Yeah, you're not. I'm not letting you get a freebie like that twice, bro. Come on. Wait. All right, bro, swap out. What is this lag, man? Come on, dude. All right, we're gonna brother. All right, sick. Let's go right into this. I don't think he can bring. He can't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right. Anyways, uh, all right, we're going to wrap that up. Wait, wait, what was that about? Am I stupid? What was that about? Hang on. He's going he's gonna to swap here. He's not going to swap. Oh, dude. Imagine. Imagine if I could have. I could have caught him there, dude. All right, let's see what oop, 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 oop. love that type of advantage. What are you going to do? I did get this off. We'll see what he does. Let's we'll see what he does. If he goes immediately into like a blue because he thinks my he did. Oh, that's sick. Dude. Sick. Nice, nice, nice. You know what I could do? Yeah, I could do it and I am going to do it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Because then that should get the beast low enough that then I can swap into the baby. Get the LF so we can see the LF here. Yep. I didn't wait long enough. You can't make this up. He, yeah, he's going to try to just go for the kill. I mean, why wouldn't you? All right, we're going to do this. He doesn't have an ultimate, so I can't. Uh... All right. All right, let's see. Let's see this LA. <laughs> Godzilla is so cool. I don't care what anyone says. What's an unfortunate day? Okay, it is blue. It is still blue in this, but it looks good. Okay, all right. It's so early. We got some wins. We had some fun. You're lying. No way. Look at that. Such trash. Come on, man. Just come on. Anyways.
that's the video hope you guys enjoyed it as always a massive shout out to today's sponsor ridge you can check it out by clicking the link down below in the description ridge thank you for sponsoring today's video and if you're looking for more legends content you're still in the mood to watch on the video click right here and i'll see you over there in that one bye